This is our shared air DFW air monitor that's placed right here, about 360 feet from GAF. For the last year, this monitor has been rooted in West Dallas off Toronto Street. It is collecting PF 2.5 pollution data. Janie Cisnero says it confirms the fears and frustrations from her neighbors. It gets really hard. About the GAF plant polluting the Singleton Corridor. To give you a 360 perspective, GAF is right behind me. And just yards away, there are so many backyards where residents say they are feeling an impact impact on their health. Every second, the monitor records the PM 2.5 number, a measure of pollution. You can't swallow, sneeze, or get rid of PM 2.5. Caleb Roberts with Downwinders at Risk says they are fine particles so small they can travel into the respiratory tract. It can cause nose and throat irritation initially, then lead to, you know, some cardiovascular disease, lung issues and even lung cancer. In 2023, Texas A&M studied the PM 2.5 levels over six months near GAF. Levels in the Singleton Corridor area exceeded the 24-hour EPA limit 35 times during the six-month study. Dr. Natalie Johnson works at Texas A&M Toxicology and the results were released today. This is concerning because overall the Singleton Corridor residents have a four to five times higher rate of asthma compared to the rest of the DFW. The EPA National Pollution rankings places the Singleton Corridor as the worst 3% in particulate matter exposure and the worst 4% in air toxics cancer risk. There's people that are afraid to go outside. Janie created Singleton United Unidos to get GAF out. Her own family with so many health problems driving her activism. 75212 is already the most polluted zip code. We live less years than the rest of Dallas. Janie was hoping for GAF to leave her backyard by 2025 or 2026 but the company plans to stay until 2029. It's too far, it's too long, that's unacceptable. We deserve better quality of life. In West Dallas, I'm Tiffany Liu. And just within the past 15 minutes, we got a response from the plant saying, quote, GAF has not had an opportunity to review the information shared tonight, but we take this opportunity to reiterate the fact that GAF is a good operator and has complied with the terms of its air permits. GAF has been inspected numerous times by various agencies in recent years, and there have been no notices of violation issued.